young men have suffered, regardless of who has replaced them in the socioeconomic ladder. This topic is often regarded as off-limits but taking a rational approach to evaluating the multitude of factors which have led to this is a way to avoid being controversial. First, the economy has been downhill since 1971. So it follows that those born in the 90s and early 2000s are essentially paying for the sins of the boomer generation and their often gluttonous, completely self-interested attitudes. The biggest drain on the system complains about having to provide opportunity for the generations that come after them, and that is typical of their childlike mindsets in my estimation. Their resistance to courage, the willingness to do something to better our situation is also an obstacle that us working men will have to overcome. If we allow them to set the time frame for our liberation, we do not win a victory in the first place. Our society has overall failed millennials, and Gen Z respectively therefore by design. I do not see any heightened awareness arising, so I am making this video to break the ice wide open. It is unwise for anyone to expect those of us suffering to make ends meet or living a dull working class life to just get over it and remain calm. It is not something likely to happen. Resentment builds with every humiliating blow dealt. Capitalists and bold-headed squares will often say, man up, and just take it, but manning up is not bending over and receiving from behind. That is called something different. Also, corporate influence as well as government intervention seems to have favored the development of increased poverty, worse working conditions for the working class, and less opportunity for working class men. Do not feel that you failed, it is the system which has failed us collectively. I am certain of this because I am not Einstein but I am not stupid either, and I could likely have continued my education if I didn't realize it was a dead trap. We can recall that they can take our lives, but they cannot take our souls. Only if we surrender them to this brutal status quo, which kills your fellows day by day all over the world. Thank you and please subscribe, like and share to help this reach the attention of those with responsibility to change things. In recent years, a growing concern has arisen regarding the forgotten working class millennials and younger generations who have been left behind by society. As these individuals struggle with stagnant wages, limited job opportunities, and mounting educational debt, it becomes crucial to devise effective strategies to aid and empower them. This essay will explore various ways in which we can address and support these individuals, backed by credible sources to strengthen the discussion. One of the key factors in aiding working-class millennials and younger generations is enhancing their skills and educational opportunities. According to the Heckinger Report, investing in community college education can effectively provide affordable job training and reskilling options for individuals seeking better employment prospects, Belmonte, 2019. By expanding access to vocational programs and apprenticeships, we can equip young workers with the skills necessary to secure stable and higher paying jobs. Social safety nets and income equality. Ensuring a robust social safety net is crucial for addressing inequality and supporting the working class. According to a study by the Economic Policy Institute, strengthening policies such as increasing the minimum wage, expanding access to affordable health care, and providing paid family leave, can significantly benefit younger workers and their families, Gould, 2018. These measures not only provide stability but also alleviate financial burdens, enabling millennials and younger generations to focus on their personal and professional growth. Affordable housing has become an increasingly urgent issue for the working class. Implementing housing policies that prioritize affordable options and rent control can alleviate the burden faced by younger workers, allowing them to allocate their income towards other essential needs or saving for the future. PBS NewsHour reports that involving all levels of government in creating sustainable affordable housing plans is crucial to address the imbalance between supply and demand, Swanson, 2017. Revitalizing and strengthening labor unions is another effective way to support the working class. Unions have historically played a crucial role in advocating for workers' rights, equitable pay, and better working conditions. 
The Economic Policy Institute argues that empowering unions can ensure fair wages and improved working conditions for all workers, particularly benefiting the younger generation, Bivens et al., 2016. Acknowledging and addressing the mental health challenges faced by the working-class millennials is essential. Initiating mental health and well-being programs specifically catered to this demographic can offer support and resources to cope with the stressors tied to their economic struggles. Research published in the Journal of Affective Disorders emphasizes the importance of targeted interventions to prevent the worsening mental health outcomes associated with prolonged financial difficulties, Lloyd et al., 2017. The forgotten working-class millennials and younger generations in our society deserve our attention and support. By implementing these strategies, investing in education, strengthening social safety nets, providing affordable housing, empowering labor unions, and addressing mental health, we can aid these individuals in overcoming societal neglect and foster a more equitable and inclusive future. By recognizing their challenges and actively assisting them, we have the power to restore hope and opportunity among the working class, ensuring a brighter future for everyone.